Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to explore the new version, version 4, of the AutoShad application. For those who are new and don't know what it is, AutoShad is an Android application that allows us to easily create WhatsApp chatbots. The main advantage of this tool is that it already integrates most of the necessary features to create even the most complex WhatsApp bots. We can create automation systems ranging from the simplest to the most advanced. Now, I am on the website. I will leave you the link in the description. If you don't have the application yet, simply click on download the app. Then, the download will start. I won't do it because I already have the application. Once installed, you will find this interface with different menus that help you navigate and configure your bot. The first thing I will show you is how to connect your WhatsApp account to the application for automation. To do this, click on Connect WhatsApp, then click on Authorize to grant permission. Once authorized, the setup begins. After downloading, you will land on this page where you must enter your WhatsApp number, including the country code. Once entered, click on Validate, you will receive a verification code and a WhatsApp notification. Open WhatsApp, confirm the notification, and enter the received code in the application. Once this is done, the app is now linked to your WhatsApp account. Any bot or automation you create will be executed directly on your WhatsApp number. However, for testing purposes, we will use the built-in test tool before applying it to an official WhatsApp account. To automate something, go to the Automation tab. Here, we have what we call Event Blocks. These blocks help us detect events and respond accordingly. For example, if we want to reply when someone sends us a private message, we click on New Private Message. Each event block has detailed settings. For instance, you can set up responses for messages received in groups, when someone views your status, when someone joins a group, or when someone becomes an admin. Let's start with a simple example. Suppose we want to reply with hello and welcome whenever someone sends us a private message. We add an action of type message, which means the bot will automatically send a response when receiving a private message. We save and test it directly within the app, without needing to go to WhatsApp. For example, if someone sends hello, the bot immediately replies with hello and welcome. You could also add delays between messages, like waiting two seconds before sending another response. Now, let's explore AI-powered automation. The AI action allows the bot to generate responses automatically using artificial intelligence. By default, it takes the received message as input and sends it to GPT to generate a reply. You can personalize it by adding context, such as company details, making the AI respond accordingly. You can also fine-tune settings like temperature and max tokens to control response behavior. Another important feature is redirect action which redirects users to different automation blocks based on keywords. For instance, if a message contains hello, we can direct the user to a greeting block. If it contains service, we direct them to a services block. In the greeting block, we can set up actions like sending a hello and welcome message. In the services block, we can send details about our services. With this method, the bot intelligently detects keywords and executes predefined actions, making automation more dynamic. In future videos, we will explore advanced features like creating interactive menus with buttons. Mastering redirection is essential for building smart bots. By detecting keywords in messages, we can trigger specific actions. In upcoming tutorials, we will go deeper into these automation techniques. Make sure to subscribe and enable notifications to stay updated. Thank you for watching, and take care.